If you want an insight into how weird and reckless this budget is, think about how smiley and happy Jim Chalmers looks while he admits that this will be his last ever budget surplus. Thanks to the pandemic recovery and a boom in tax receipts this year, Labor looks like banking two surpluses in a row. Good stuff, good for them, good for us. But what are they doing with that good fortune? Well, they're frittering it away, baking in long-term spending so that Chalmers has actually forecast four large deficits across the following years. If he serves another term as Treasurer, Chalmers expects to deliver nothing but deficits, spending $120 billion more than he receives. Talk about a lack of ambition. It seems incredible that a Treasurer would just set his sights on deep deficits as far as the eye can see. Wouldn't he want to improve our budget long term? Doesn't he want a structural surplus? Doesn't he want us to one day pay our own way? I reminded you last night of what Treasurer Wayne Swan said back in the days when Jim Chalmers was his Chief of Staff. The four years of surpluses I announced tonight are a powerful endorsement of the strength of our economy. Yeah, that was funny then, and obviously while Swan promised four surpluses, he delivered only deficits, but at least he had the right goal, the right idea. Chalmers, his protégé, has gone in the opposite direction, only aiming for deficits. This is a government that thinks it can save the planet and create a renewable energy superpower, whatever that is, but it has no ambition to create a federal budget that pays its way. It's like this mob only cares about the next election. That's their only goal. And they'll only worry about what happens after that, if and when they have to.